Hello and welcome to Action. Schneeb Reviews. Uh, Today we watched the movie The Dark. What's it called? En the Endless. The en Endless. The Endless. Today we watched the movie The Endless, and we're gonna give you our opinion and uh, yeah. Good. All right, Tanner. So uh, initial thoughts. Um, coming into it, I thought the dialogue was a little weak, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they really explored um, some concepts they could dive into with a low budget. The restriction really became um, uh, an accelerant in the fire that was the directing and the creative direction of the movie, and I really appreciated that, how they really pushed the boundaries of what could be achieved. See, my biggest problem was that every character looked the exact same. And not enough boobs. Not enough boobs, yeah, but every character looked the exact Flat same. chest. They all had like a mustache. Stubble and short hair. Short, um... Yeah, uh, that's what kept one of them there. cutie pie. One of them looked exactly... You either got like boobs or a man. That's how the world works. Yeah, that's not okay. what put. Um, Mitchell, what, do you, what did you think about the movie? Well, clearly the movie was a little reminiscent. But... A little reminiscent to the Blair Witch Project. You see, see, that's where I disagree. No, my main you concern. Won. I didn't learn any of their names. A single person's name. It was thing one and thing two. I don't know any of their names. Yeah, we just called him PewDiePie. And we called him PewDiePie and White Guy. See, and everybody except for PewDiePie was White Guy. They're all white guys. But the difference between this and every other horror movie is there was no black guy to die first. And really, nobody really died. Because there was no black guy to die for. Exactly, and that's the thing that we're pushing with these racial epithets is just the, the future of filmmaking, and I really don't understand how this is going to clash with societal norms. Yeah, it was, it was interesting, though. I mean, it was a little controversial. Kind of, kind of controversial. Yeah, it really pushed the envelope. Lots to do with the yeah. yeah. Alright, so Tanner, what would you rate this movie out of five? Um, out of five, we'd have to break it down into categories. Or 10 but or 13, based, I don't know. Um, first off, the first category based off of um, the 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 level in which they um, promoted suicide, I'd give it a 10. Um, based off of character diversity, a one. Um, based off of storytelling, maybe a four out of five, and then uh, filmmaking uh. and uh, cinematography, <laughs> I'd probably give it an eight out of five. Alright, Mitchell, what rating do you give it? Okay, so with this movie, it's a little different because it kind of leaves me at an angle. <laughs> I'd probably give it six medium sized popcorns <laughs> <laughs> and a large Pepsi Cola. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it, I'm thinking, four Campbell's soup cans out of like seven. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, though. another issue I pushed was I didn't see a single fish in the whole film. I know. I the, they, were, they were by a river. A bed. filmmaker who is trying to push themselves into mainstream, coming from a low budget movie, should have a higher quantity of fish, and the fish per capita throughout the film was very lacking. I can't. And that's not something yeah. I like to see in these types of movies. I can't disagree with that. I concur. I concur. All I right. conquer, and I conquered this movie. All right, catch us next week where we talk about Palestinian conflict. <coughs> Israel? Are they good? Are, are they, they terrorists? Or are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm looking for a sailor. Oh my God, I'm looking for the sea. Oh my God, I'm looking for a sailor. Oh my God, ready to attack. Who are you? Perfect. <laughs>